Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Grand Seiko Spring Drive Chronograph. This is the SBGC005, 43.5 millimeters in titanium. You can see and you can purchase this dual time automatic winding spring drive vertical clutch column wheel chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this SBGC005 spring drive chronograph. Properly speaking, it is a spring drive chronograph GMT because this watch is laden with features from its automatic winding to its three-day power reserve to its power reserve indicator date second time zone in 24-hour format and column wheel chronograph. <gasps> I need to take a breath. That's a lot to pack in, even considering the near 44 millimeter diameter case. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the watch is large, though perhaps not quite as large as it's made to look by the crown and the chronograph pusher shoulders, which I have screwed out to their active position. They are usually more recessed than this. They're out for functional sake. Now you can see the watch is slim, but it's more of an optical illusion than a dimensional fact. The case back, as you can see, is, is dramatically cupped. So there's an awful lot of thickness back there. That's about three millimeters. So when you actually put the watch on the wrist, the 16.4 millimeter thickness becomes more like 13 functional millimeters of thickness. And with a generously sloped case flank and bezel, I never thought I'd say this, but this is a 16 and a half millimeter thick watch that I do believe you could slide underneath, not just a suit jacket sleeve, but the dress cuff beneath. From lug to lug, it is fairly constrained, 50.6 millimeters. This is an easy watch to wear on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You can see the lugs end quite a bit inboard of the edge of my wrist. So I believe if your wrist were as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, yes, 14, you could wear this watch with panache and physical security. Now in terms of ergonomics, it's titanium. The case back is thoughtfully shaped, though, though rather bulbous. It's mostly flat and there are no sharp portions that would create pressure points or hot spots. The bracelet is very, very nicely made. First, there's the aesthetics. As you can see, it's hand finished. Those are the type of hairline bevels. If you look at the edge of the individual links, the rounded off transition from the satin finished top to the satin finished side, the sort of things you no longer see at Omega and Rolex and Breitling. They're alive and well at Grand Seiko where watches are still hand assembled and regulated on the inside and hand finished on the outside. Now you can see there is a nice taper to this three link design and then it terminates in a single fold deployant twin trigger clasp that inspires confidence with its solidity and substance and thanks to the twin triggers it cannot excellently pop open. You must depress both triggers to open the clasp. You also note the ergonomics from the underside. This is something often overlooked but you can see that there are large channels between the links and then plenty of daylight showing through so it vents the wrist on a hot day releasing moisture, sweat and grit but you also note that those rounded gaps are not just wide but they are tapered. The individual links being rounded where they approach each other so that it will not pick up and pull pull, skin, and pinch. It won't get caught in hair. It won't yank at your wrist. Nicely made, thoughtfully detailed, and joined to a case that deserves the same description. As you can see, it's faceted, it's styled, it's satin, and it's polished. It has far more character than most contemporary Omega Rolex and Breitling models, and I use those as a comparison on a price basis only. This watch has far more character than anything those companies are issuing today. You can see the optically smooth, basically flawless, black polish applied to the exterior of the case. This is a level of optical finish rarely seen on the outside of a watch. It's usually reserved for very small movement components, but what Grand Seiko calls its Zeratsu finishing, essentially an artisan who's working solely by feel and pressure, polishing the case directly against a milling device. That's how that's achieved. You also note that the creases and the character lines are sharp. There's a lot of definition and quite a few transitional changes of plane from the flank to the top of the lugs, which are satin finished for contrast. The bezel is minimalist, conical and polished. Nevertheless, it does have a strong cantilevered step where it separates visually from the case band. Again, there's no sense that you're looking at a monolith of metal. The mass, the visual mass, because the watch is light, is broken up nicely by the art team. Now you can see inboard, the dial offers a lot, but once you get accustomed to it, it makes a lot of sense. At the center, you can see beautiful three dimensional dimensional double finished hands. They are both satin and polished, satin down the center, polished at their beveled periphery, 
No one makes hands like Grand Seiko. The same treatment has been applied to the faceted and contrasting satin and polished applied golden indices. There's a power reserve indicator for the 72 hour power reserve at 7 o'clock. There's a date with a handsome golden aperture with a monotone black date disc. There is a stub hand that you can just barely see protruding out from the center that traces a 24 hour calibrated arc around the dial. That's your independent second time zone. And then you have chronograph functions seconds at center with that counterweighted silver lancet style hand, and then minutes and hours on the three o'clock side of the dial. So two time zones, a date, a power reserve indicator, the time of day, and a tri-register chronograph. Now all Grand Seiko chronographs from the very first 6139 have employed the vertical clutch column wheel arrangement. I can't categorically say that every single one made has used that setup, but they were the first with it and they proudly continue it into the modern era. Do we give credit to Pierce during the 30s and 40s? Sure, but this is the setup for the modern era as pioneered in the modern era by Seiko and Grand Seiko. The result is a very crisp actuation. You feel it, you hear it, the column wheel in this watch, which is visible through the case back, right there, is exceptionally sharp. The tuning is gratifying, and you almost feel as though more of a detent and an audible report than necessary was engineered into it just to make it more pleasurable to operate. You also note that due to the vertical clutch engagement, there's no jump to the chronograph seconds hand when it starts, it simply commences. And if you prefer to read your seconds off center, just leave it running because of the vertical clutch, there's no additional wear and tear on the mechanism. Now again, I did tell you that the pushers had shoulders that I had threaded out for ease of use. I'm going to thread them in just so you get a proper look at the watch as it will stand on your wrist. Not quite as insistent, they're nevertheless fairly massive and like everything else on the watch you get the sense that it was a combination of art design and engineering with the engineers saying you know a bigger barrel for the screw down mechanism would make it easier to open up your chronograph pushers and the designers saying well you know what if you're going to do that let's make it all of high polish with generous neural and fluting such that the functional grip becomes part of the style and it does it nicely matches the crown at center turn the watch over and the caliper is better looking than I would have expected now it's protected to 100 meters so this is a true aquatic watch you're looking at the spring drive caliber 9R86 automatic three-day power reserve it features 50 joules it features hacking it features the power reserve indicator it features almost everything you can imagine from the GMT to the vertical clutch column wheel combination and it is spring drive which means you see a very small wheel turning away just underneath my finger that is a governing wheel the spring wound either manually or by the rotor turns a drivetrain that spins that wheel that creates an induced current that wakes up a quartz oscillator so there's no battery there's no capacitor all of the electricity that's necessary is generated by the spring drive the spring then propels the wheel and the operational quartz oscillator uses the induced electromagnetic force of this turning wheel to either increase the force and slow the wheel thus slowing down the timing of the watch or if the watch is running too slowly the wheel will speed up under the influence of the springs force and the quartz oscillators regulation thus increasing the speed of the hand now you'll look at this chronograph seconds hand because it's easier to see than constant seconds there's no stepping it is a continuous sweep totally smooth spring drive is the system that eliminates the alternating back and forth jump of the swiss lever there is no oscillation just a continuous spin in a single direction under the force imparted by the spring itself. Totally unique. The benefit of combining this electromechanical hybrid in a single case is that you get a fully watchmaker assembled and watchmaker regulated lifetime movement that's principally mechanical, but you get plus or minus 15 second accuracy per month with the spring drive caliber. Now remember, a Swiss COSC certified chronometer can gain six seconds per day and lose four seconds per day and still be a chronometer. This is rated to plus or minus 15 seconds per month. Handsome, versatile, and laden with both content and value. You can see and purchase this Grand Seiko spring drive chronograph SBGC005 on our website.